Question is, adding a degenerative resistor to a CE-BZT amplifier will mainly reduce. Comes to a CE with RE amplifier, the voltage gain is defined as Whereas input impedance is defined as and amplifier bandwidth is defined as here gain bandwidth product equals to gain into bandwidth. Whereas output impedance is defined as 1 plus GM RE into RCE whereas RCE is the collector to emitter resistance. If we verify these statements see voltage gain is reduced because of addition of RE whereas input resistance increases because of emitter resistor. Here voltage gain decreases means bandwidth increases. So comes to bandwidth increases whereas output impedance also increases. Hence the option A is correct is two systems T1 and T2 are cascaded to get the system T as shown in the figure. Which of the following statement is true? Statement A. If both T1 and T2 are linear then T is not necessarily linear. It's not true because if both systems T1 and T2 are linear the whole ca the cascaded system leads to a linear system. Whereas statement B. If both T1 and T2 are time invariant then T is not time invariant. It's not true because if both are time invariant, then the cascaded system is also time invariant. Whereas statement C, if both T1 and T2 are nonlinear, then T is not necessarily nonlinear. See, if both T1 and T2 are nonlinear, there is a possibility of getting a linear system because of cascading effects. Hence, this statement is true. Whereas option D, if both T1 and T2 are causal, then T is not necessarily causal. If both are causal, then the cascaded system is also causal. Hence, it is not true. Hence, the option C is correct. Question is, a unity feedback closed loop system has open loop transfer function G of S equals to 1 by S square and a proportional derivative controller G C of S in the forward path is equals to TP into 1 plus TDS where TP and TD are positive adjustable parameters. Which one of the following statement is false regarding above unity feedback closed loop system? Comes to statement A, the system is always stable. See, in the forward path, we have added a proportional derivative control means it adds zero to the open loop system means adding zero improves the stability of the system means statement a is true it comes to statement b the system may have damped oscillations for the unit step input see if we take the closed loop transfer function that is loop transfer function equals to g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s h of s equals to 1 g of s equals to tp 1 plus td s divided by s square if we find out the characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s into h of s we will get a second order equation based upon the TB and TD values there is a possibility of getting a damped oscillations for the unit step input hence the statement B is also correct but comes to statement C that is the system amplifies the noise adding zero means it because the proportional derivative controller acts as a HEPOS filter so there is a possibility of amplifying the noise too so statement C is also correct but comes to statement D, 
the system has zero steady state error for unit parabolic input. The steady state error is defined as limit s tends to 0 s into r of s 1 plus u of s into h of s. If we substitute the corresponding values where r of s is the parabolic input h of s equals to 1 g of s is mentioned in the above equation. Then we will get this equation outcome as a finite value. But in the option D specified as a 0. Hence option D is the wrong statement regarding above closed loop feedback system. Hence the option D is correct. Question is for the given block diagram we have to find out the transfer function. So, by Mohsen's gains formula transfer function equals to for first forward path is g1 into z2 second forward path is g2 if we remove the forward path there are no individual loops as well as there are no individual no, two non touching loops hence the delta equals to 1 in the second case too delta equals to 1 1 minus first non touching loop is g1 z2 there are no other loops comes to two non touching loops there are no pro, uh, two non touching loops hence the transfer function equals to g2 1 plus g1 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 hence option b is correct 